Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, the notifications on and while you're down there hit the thumbs up button because it really does help me. Today I thought we could do another Q and A. A. We're doing a Q and A on depersonalisation and derealisation, two conditions that I'm diagnosed with and have been for six years. I got some questions on Instagram, that is where I go for to get my Q&A questions from so I'll put that on the screen now and on the iCard up there. Check that out if you want to be a part of the next Q&A. So the first question I got is, well it's three notes on Instagram so bear with me. Um, hi, I've been really struggling and not feeling real, does, this ca does that count? I struggle to tell what's real and what isn't anymore and I've been hallucinating too. Sorry for saying, but do you expect, do you feel that, that? So I do feel not real. When I look in the mirror, I don't see my reflection back. I see an, an imposter. And when it comes to derealisation, I don't really experience not feeling real. I just experience things like a dream. Like everything's in like a dream state. My advice would be to speak to your GP or a mental health professional about how you're feeling because it is pretty serious. And if you're hallucinating, there's stuff that you can do to help. Do you ever feel like you're dreaming? I do all the time lately. Not diagnosed with either. So yeah, like I just said, I feel like I'm in a dream. And everything's a bit hazy, my memories a bit shit because it literally feels like a dream and you don't really remember the full extent of dreams so when I when I'm awake and I have this experience it, my memory goes a bit as well my memory is not great because I had the ECT but that's not the cause what grounding techniques help you in an episode um Having a nap, that works. And colouring in. Playing on my switch, going in my distraction box. Just stuff like that. What advice would you give to someone dealing with this? Make sure you have professional support and you're not alone in this. There are a lot of other people who suffer from these conditions and I would highly recommend make sure you've got professional support next question is how would you explain the condition to someone who wouldn't understand it I don't know it's so complicated Probably by saying it feels like a dream and you don't know what to, if you're actually dreaming or if you're awake, not seeing your own reflection back, feeling like an imposter. Have you ever had to make any lifestyle changes to help with this? Yes. I have a notebook that I have with me all day long. And I use it all day to note down every little thing I say, do, eat, drink, because my memory just doesn't remember, I just don't remember these things. And I've missed appointments because I made them when I was really dissociated. And I didn't write them down. So I missed the appointment. The next question is, how do you navigate social situations with these conditions? So with depersonalisation and derealisation, there's not really anything you do to be in social situations. My friends know that I have depersonalisation and derealisation. They know how to spot the signs that I'm dissociating. And on the whole, it works quite well because they 
they take down notes for me what goes on if we're going to the cinema they make sure that I'm happy and comfortable and nothing's going to trigger me because for me depersonalization to realize for me depersonalization to realization really do stem from trauma and they are very much so a trauma response and the last question I've got is what's it like how did it first start? What was the first symptom? So for me, the first episode I had was when, was when I lived in Preston. And I made a video on it, which I'll link up there. And basically, I was hallucinating as well as being really dissociated. And I saw a ghost person well half of this person that then transformed into a dog that was charging at me and it felt so real so real that I phoned the police and the police took me home because I was like you're not it's not real the first symptom I had was losing time and that was really hard I think losing time, feeling like everything was a daydream, feeling like everything was a dream, it just kind of stayed like that and it continued to get worse over time. Now that I'm medicated properly for my bipolar disorder and BPD and PTSD and anxiety and depression and everything else you want to throw at me. My medication helps me stay out of these episodes. I haven't had an episode in months. So yeah. That's all I've got for this video. If you're new, subscribe. Join the growing family. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.